Okay, so, uh, so this video will be a little bit about job titles and status. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, um, I got a job in the stock market as an analyst. Then I was quickly promoted to being the senior analyst and had a team of two junior analysts who I could recruit to work under me. So I had, uh, so just having that title. So, and you know, wanting to even work in the stock market in that field was also just the, the, the label of the stock market was also very enticing, you know, the, uh, the, and the label I had within the, the field of the stock market, you know, analyst or senior analyst, that I, I, was, I had people under me was, you know, the, the salary was also an important label, the company I worked for was an important label. So all of these labels had uh, a lot of uh, special significance. You know, of course, I'm to say these are special words you know, that uh, my ego projected uh, special significance onto. So really, um, with, and sometimes, you know, titles are, um, probably if someone offered me double the salary but to be a toilet cleaner, you know, like, do you want a job in the stock market at X salary, or we can get a double the salary but your title would be toilet cleaner. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'd probably go for half the salary in the stock market. So what, where, where do you work? I work in the stock market. What's your title? You know, I'm an analyst, senior analyst. I manage a couple of people. Rather than to be the senior toilet manager or something. That, you know, they like. So these, these, th these things, these titles, to the ego, are very, very important. And sometimes titles can be more important than the salary. And even, you know, and for myself, you know, I would take a pay cut to stay in the stock market than to get promoted to be in a company doing making toilets, for example, because mm. of the, the symbolic association, mm. like, you know, I think, because of the, being in the collective culture, like, you know, money is important, but salary is important, but sometimes also career title and career thing is also, you know, it gives you status in the collective nightmare of the ego. Mm. So the, it's like a collective insanity mm. of status ranking. You know, I found that even in the stock market, there are grades, you know, like, if you're in this bank, it's better than being in that bank. And if you're this title, it's better than that. So you learn in each sector, there's like distinctions of, you know, so we can all rank each other against each other, you know. So now that's like a collective insanity, and it's not based on truth. So actually, the Course in Miracles says, God is the source of my security. So actually, none of, the, none of those things. So what I would do with that, um, is I would uh, make the title meaningless, make the salary meaningless, because they're just projections. You know, they're, like the Course in Miracles says in Lesson 14, a lot of it is our personal, personal projections, and some of it is the collective projections, the collective nightmare of the collective insanity of collective consciousness. So some of these are my own personal interpretations of projections of specialness. But you can strip away because, you know, a title isn't the source of security or your salary is not the source of your security. It's your spiritual connection is the source of your security. So what do you realize? So it's safe to say, uh, you know, I can't, God did not create um, significance in the stock market. And it's not real. Or God did not create significance in the salary. So it's not real. Isn't it interesting, whilst you're, sorry to interrupt yeah, you, whilst sure. you're saying all of these things, yeah. I'm feeling intense pain in my chest, mm -hmm. that ego is saying, you know, don't, don't listen to it, because you want the title, you don't want the truth. Mm. You, you know, and, and feeling intense pain as you're talking, yeah. because it's setting aside mm -hmm. that something I strongly identify with. That's right, you said the right words, it's strong identification. Mm. Mm. You know, the, that, the more a thing is your higher power, the more you identify with it. The more tight is the grip, the more hard it is to let it go. Mm. Like, uh, and hence, you know, like some people, if they lose their job, will get suicidal. Mm. Because they think, well, there's no point in living if I'm not going to be in that career any longer. So it becomes so identified as the source of their survival, you know, or with a relationship, or... Or if someone's uh, getting older, if they're losing their youth, they can think there's no point in living because they associate with youth as being their identity or, mm. or their job title as being their source of life. But it literally becomes a source of life when it's strongly identified. It becomes like if you lose that, then that's losing the source of living. That's how strong. But actually, The Course of Miracles, it's actually an illusion. So 
But here's the good news. You can still keep your job, but you just let go of your attachment to it. You just let go of the meaning. It doesn't mean you can't earn lots of money or stay in a, career, a nice career, but you're le letting go of uh, your attachment to it. So you just say, when, when, uh, when you let go of your attachment, you actually operate at a higher level because you don't get crippled with fear. You know, it's like once you realize God is the source of your security or your vibration or your serenity or your peace is the source of your... Then it's like you start to have thoughts, well, if this job goes, there'll be plenty of other jobs, you see. Mm -hmm. But when, you're, when you attach that only this job and this boss is the source of my security and you're really attached to it, then you operate from fear, mm -hmm. you see. And so you, you go into adrenaline and you get terror. And then to lose that, or to be threatened, still got a few minutes, you know, you feel like you're, you're losing your source. So it's okay to let it go, you can still keep it, but just, uh, you know, it's, just make it meaningless. Like my, this, uh, the title of the stock market is meaningless as a mug, which is as meaningless <coughs> as a teddy bear, which is as meaningless as uh, being a toilet cleaner. So they're all equally meaningless, you know, so just let it go. And... Uh, it's the thing of like when things are meaningless, you know, th there's no fear in dealing in those situations. But when there's attachment, there'll be a lot of fear, a lot of stress, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of fear of loss. Whereas if, if your survival is based on your connection to God, you know, God will always provide you with another job, or another mm -hmm. career, another income. So you can be happy, joyous, have a laugh. And uh, if, if you lose your job, there's going to be another one coming very, very soon. God will provide. Okay.